This is Dabu 7. We have reports now that Russia has been sending troops, tanks, equipment, you name it, down toward the border with North Korea. There are fears now that if the U.S. does make a move on North Korea, that there's going to be this massive influx of refugees that storm into both China and Russia. Now, Russia has this border that is 11 miles long here near Vladivostok. This is where China, Russia, and North Korea all meet. This is a very interesting and strategic location here for these three countries. And it looks like China has been setting up reserves down here, right near the border. And they say 150 Chinese, 150,000 Chinese troops moving toward the North Korean border along this area. Russia mounting up right here. Now, I'm not sure about the layout and the landscape of all of this bordering territory here with China, but I know some of it is mountainous, some of it is rugged terrain, and I know that they're keying in here on the cities and the main roadways that connect with China. They are expecting thousands of refugees, as they're stating in this article. Now, Putin doesn't want to see this influx come into Russia, so they're looking to seal up this 11-mile stretch. Now, they've been sending them in via the roadways, as well as on the ground, in any area, in the air, and on train. So, they're making their moves in terms of fortifying their border, and they really think that this big wave of refugees is going to come through the region. So I just want to let it be known that Russia making big moves along with China, sending all kinds of troops and equipment down to the border of North Korea, that's a sure sign that they're expecting something to come. I will continue to update. I'll leave a link below. It's been Dabu7.